Well, Dimitri, are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? What are you talking about? Didn't Lord Arendelle say something about you and Edelgard being family? To claim that the King and the Emperor are related, could it be? Ah, I suppose I never told you, though I do recall mentioning it briefly to the Professor. Lord Arendelle spoke the truth. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Political turmoil drove my stepmother out of the Empire. Father fell in love with her at first sight, and they married. I lost my birth mother before I was old enough to remember her. My stepmother filled that role for me, but she lost her life in Dusker nine years ago, along with father. Hang on, I didn't even know she was your stepmother. Did my father know about this? Yes, all those who were close to my father knew, including Rodrigue. But to speak openly about it would have caused a scandal. And so she was our secret. No one in the general public knew about her. Naturally, the fact that Edelgard and I are step-siblings was kept a secret as well. I'm finally beginning to understand what you went through five years ago. I mean, Edelgard is the only family you have left, isn't she? To find out someone so precious to you is actually your most hated enemy. How heartbreaking. But wait! You two were born and raised in two different territories, right? So you probably never met until you were both at the Academy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the idea of fighting family is just about the worst thing ever. But hopefully the fact that she's a stepsister who you never really knew helps with the pain? I don't know. It was just a thought. I'm afraid that's not the case. Though it was only for a short time, Edelgard once called Ferdia at home. It was a long time ago, but she was a cherished friend of mine. Wait! I remember now! She was that girl, wasn't she? The one you gave a dagger to! <laughs> so, your little girlfriend was Edelgard. Sylvain, if you have any more foolish things to say, please hold them for later. Well, that's... That's a bit weird. I do have a few more in my sleeve, but they can wait. Go on, Your Highness. This is important for us to hear. She may be a hated enemy now. But the Emperor is your old friend and your stepsister. Can you bring yourself to kill her? I will kill her, if I must. But if there is any chance that the world she seeks to create could be a just one, then I... I would love to see a future in which I may reach out my hand for her and have her reach back. That said, I have no intention of letting my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Too much is at stake. Your Highness, I think you should meet with the Emperor, and at least try to talk to her. If there's any hope of ending this war without more bloodshed, we have to try. Besides, killing your own family... I'm sorry, but it's not right. I... I think so too. And you are right that we should at least try. I see. So my uncle's defeat is beyond doubt? Yes, Your Majesty. I have confirmed it via countless channels. I advise that we accept this as a drop of joy amid a pool of sorrow. Pretty words, but I'm afraid we can't rest until the joy outweighs the sorrow. And for that to happen, it now seems we must confront them all at once. Dimitri, who took back Ferdiad. Claude, who managed to protect the Alliance. And that professor, who is successfully mobilizing the Knights of Saros. What will you do, Your Majesty? Pull back our forces. In the west to Arian Road. In the east to... Fort Mercius, I presume. There is no better place for such a confrontation, after all. Indeed. And dispatch the Death Knight to guard it. He can buy us some time. In the meantime, I will... Forgive me, but I must speak bluntly. I do not agree with what you intend to do. Though slight... There is a chance that once done, it cannot be undone. Even I cannot always choose the direction my path leads me. There is no other way. And so, I must walk on. Part 2. Azure Moon. Blue Sea Moon. The Impregnable Fortress.
When Claude steps down as its leader, the Leicester Alliance disbands and its lords swear fealty to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The chaos in the kingdom begins to dissipate as the people unite under Dimitri's rule. Riding this momentum, the kingdom army prepares to march south for a decisive battle against imperial forces. We will finally have our decisive battle with the Empire this month. The Eastern Lords are in the process of consolidating all of the troops within the entire kingdom. Boah! How long is this cutscene? <laughs> My god! New episode and already such a cutscene. Welcome back everyone! Uh, I don't know how long this cutscene is going to continue, but it's getting very interesting. Especially the little clip of Edelgard. I'm not really sure what she's trying to do there, but Tubert seems to be worried. Something that cannot be undone, huh? Anyways, uh, please, please, continue your console about the upcoming mission. In addition, ever since Aryan Road's liberation, the Western Lords have been declaring their fealty, one after another. Affairs within the Kingdom have calmed down considerably, and we even managed to win over the Alliance. Well, the Alliance is no more, right? That's all became one giant kingdom. Although it was a rough go at first, I'm starting to feel like we could actually win this. That's true. Thinking back on it now, we've really come a long way. We even have a lead as to where Rhea is located. It is as we predicted all along. If we are to rescue Rhea, then we must defeat the Emperor. Um, if we're going to march from the monastery to Inbar, then we'll have to cross the Great Bridge of Murden again, right? Yes, I right. believe so. As we have gained the Alliance's support, we should not have any trouble this time. After the bridge, we can cross Grander Field and head south. And then we'll take Mercius, the so-called impregnable fortress that towers on the other side. An impregnable fortress? Like the Silver Fort Maid? Mercius, I know of it. They say it rivals even Aryan Road. Count Burgleys, the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs, once had troops stationed there. But according to our spies, a large-scale military force has entered the stronghold. Perhaps they are gathering soldiers from various regions to compensate for their losses. Hmm. Um, can we really be traded against that? Oh, wait, wait. Should we try to avoid it? That would be a better option. Maybe we can go around We try it. to avoid it. Those troops will follow us and attack from the rear. It is best for us to handle the situation head on. Okay. Once we take Fort Mercius, Enbar will be within reach. This is the Empire's last chance to stop us from arriving at our goal. In other words, if we take this fort, then our blades will be at the Emperor's throat in no time. If this is the last fort between us and them, then the Emperor will likely do everything she can to strengthen its defenses. I just received a report on that very subject. The one commanding the troops stationed at Fort Mercius is someone we have crossed blades with many times. Hmm? It is Ooh. the Death Knight who awaits us there. Are you serious? That guy? How many times did I fought him again? Three, four times already? <laughs> well, at least we have Lucinthia with us, so I don't, I don't really need to be afraid of him, right? Even though he's really strong. So, we are back. I don't see a paralog. That means... I can just train six times and be done. But before I train, it is time to explore again. So, I think this time we're going to win a master seal in the stadium, but I don't really need that, so... Ah! Shoot! No quests? No nothing? Again? Well, maybe I'm lucky. I mean, I planted some vegetable seeds, so maybe I can get the dried vegetables? Come on! It's not with it. So that means vegetable seeds it is. Okay, let's go to the market and see if I can buy the vegetable seeds. After all, it's kind of ridiculous how long I've been spending Welcome. on this one mission. Everyone else is just getting repeated or be done with in, with in a few tries. You are not the right guy. Please come again. Do I need to talk to you? you Hello there. Baby? 
Uh, borons, smithing material, let's go. Return no. soon, please. How about you? Hey, welcome. Come on. There, vegetable seeds. Those eye. are the right. Fi oh, I don't need that much. How about five? Five. A Death. pleasure doing business. Come again. A blush. The blush was mine. And uh, to that. Okay, now that I have the vegetable seeds, I should finally be able to finish the mission once I return to the garden Maybe. and give her the plants right here. Vegetable seeds. Uh, cultivate with magic. And now I need to wait a week. Great. Just, just great. Means I can't Hi even there, complete it in answer. this part. What am I supposed to do if I can't even complete that? Except, of course, cooking again, like all the time. By the way, I mean, now that everyone has their classes, let me check again. Rooster. Uh, here. I already reached my level. The big tree has this thing. The duo already became a war master, sword master, vibrant lord, dark knight, primary, holy knight, falcon knight, archer. Well, I don't really need to level the other guys. I don't, I don't really need to cook anymore. Actually, I mean, I could get them to level S, but do I really need rank S? Then again, if I reach rank S, I could just do it again if I really need it again. I don't know. Should I? I mean, it's, we're pretty much close to the end already. I could just spend the last few points on me Aren't and get me to the absolute broken A plus levels for everything. I mean, look at this. My bow skills are almost at B, which I should probably max out right away. I mean, with Shamir and my little Bernie, who's just right over here. Oh, good. This one's impregnable too, isn't it? Perfect. As soon as we take it, I'll set up a special spot for Bernie. You know, it is impregnable, but I think Ingrid might still break the doors. All right, if we can take it, it's not impregnable. I guess you have a point. What would you call it then? A little pregnable? Well, I would call it quite sturdy, but not impossible to crack. Yeah, kind of like that. So, I need another arch. Oh, a little. Do you have a headache? Mm. Do you have a headache? Are you, f are you fine? Oh, Professor. Good timing. You have to talk some sense into my father. Huh? Recently, he's been doing nothing but work himself to the bone. Even when he's taking breaks from training and errands, he's apparently listening to reports. Day in and day out. Uh, he's getting on in years, you know? I just want him to take care of himself. Oh. Well, sure. I'm gonna head there right away. I mean, I just need to find him. Give me a second. Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert. You know, I heard from Annette that you have been working yourself way too hard. Please, calm down. You're acting like Dimitri. Even in the kingdom, only a few people knew about His Highness and Edelgard's relationship. Me? I always knew those two to be like brother and sister. To think that we would come to see this world where they are at war with one another. I live it and can still barely imagine such a truth. But it has been the truth for five years. I mean, he hated her for five years, right? Also, please teach me about the eggs. I still need the A and the X abilities. So, I think I already saw Sedev around. Somewhere around here, maybe? Ah, so. oh, there he is. Fort Mercius is a keep that was constructed to defend the Imperial capital, Enbar. We cannot enter the capital without first capturing that fort. But once we have it, the city should be almost entirely at our mercy. Now that we know Rhea is there, we must move with the utmost urgency. Right. But urgency uh, could cause trouble. So first of all, give me wings. I need to prepare myself, right? 
Hey there. The Death Knight. I shudder to think of him. Professor, you remember my connection to him, do you not? He stole your blood, right? Yeah, of course. Still working through the trauma from back then. All these years later. If we meet him, I swear I will have my revenge. Well, I'm not going to take you along as a as a unit in itself. I mean, you are there with the Duke, but technically you aren't really fighting. But maybe when the Duke finishes him off, you can have a chance to talk to him. Maybe. Just have riches. That's how the. Anyways, uh, I want a plus. Oh my god, I'm broken. I officially have reached the broken state. I have officially reached the broken state. Nothing is going to hit me anymore. I am completely ready for any kind of situations. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have five more points. I need someone with an axe. Like the dude. Where are you, the dude? There you are, the dude. I want your axe. Please, just give me... After all, I still need that A. So who has X again? Cynthia, no way. Alois! Of course! Alois! There you are, my friend! So Give me the ability, I please! Will you I need much XP! Uh, I think five more and I'm done. Hilda only teaches me spear, that's useless. Uh, so Trill, I think you teach me something about bows, which would also be fine. Well, once I see him, of course. Oh, right Let's there. See. My god, the cat was blocking you. Is it true? Why'd they take Lady Rhea? Professor, they didn't take her to kill her, did they? I don't think so. They would have done that much earlier. I mean, it's, it has already been five years. That's good. We just gotta beat the Imperial Army and get her back, right? Right. You gotta help her, Professor. I'm begging you. Sure. I mean, that was the plan all along, right? So, that would be the B. I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, anything else? Who can teach me something about X? Well, if I cannot be teached about X, I can teach myself swords. But first, let me just double check the ultimate sword tournament. Are you serious right now? I kind of want to do that. Come on, Ash. Show him who's the boss. I mean, Felix. Show him who's the boss. Do it. I don't really need to see it, but I want to see or rather show them the might of the air uh, of the Felix. <laughs> Come on! It was meant to be. One hit! Next one! Oh no. Wait. Avoid. Hit. Crit. One to remember. Okay, that would be the second round. Mm, we should be fine. And you done. Earned my Our final. Oh, you poor guy. Why would you try to fight against him? It's going to completely destroy you. I'm gonna heal up anyways. I mean, it's seemingly fine, right? And I have two heals left. One. Two. It was meant to be. So, let's heal up one more time. The last enemy is a mortal savage. And he's going to die. If he doesn't... He doesn't even have a chance to crit. Oh, you poor guy. Rest in peace. He isn't even level 40. You haven't earned my pit. Oh well. Uh, thanks. Thanks for showing off. That Felix is the absolute best swordmaster there is.
great. Anyways, uh, Felix, I I'm also want you to teach me something. Keep up that fervor. Perhaps we'll capture Fort Mercius and move on to the Imperial capital. We must not be overconfident, though. Yeah, we need to proceed with cautious. Yes, I concur. Humans and beasts are ultimately the same. When they're cornered, they lash out however they can. They fight for their lives. Right. Who knows how the Emperor will lash out? We have to be careful. Maybe they're going to pull out a lot of reinforcements. Okay, why the hell are you unable to teach me swords? You have an A on swords, Felix. There was an A on your sword ability. Catherine? We crush the Catherine, cursed. I don't care. Swords. Thanks. God damn it, Felix. I know that you've been teaching bow lately, but still! You have a you have a sword right on your hips! Ah anyways, that's banded up all the points. That's good. Now we could see a few important supports. And that would be all for today's part. Yeah. I hope you guys had fun with today's part. In the next part, we're going to go for the impregnable fortress. And Hopefully defeat the dead knight without trouble. Hopefully, I mean, who knows? Anyways, enjoy the supports! There are a few very good and cute ones within the bunch. Hello, father. May I have a moment? Of course. I... I read all your letters. You never stopped writing them, did you? Hmm. My birthday, mother's birthday, every possible occasion, without fail. Yes. So why didn't you send any of them? If you had sent even one, we would have... Each time I thought to send one, I could not do so. Such behavior belittled my penance. Time passed, and with it my feelings of guilt toward you and your mother grew. Even though I wrote the letters, I could not send them. I would always talk about it with Mother. If only he'd write us at least once, we'd say. We waited and waited. All those long years. I am sorry. I'm tired of hearing it, so just stop. Your apologies change nothing. Send those letters to Mother. She'll be happy to hear from you. I cannot. In that case... Why don't I send them? I have given them to you. They are yours to do with as you wish. All right, then. I'll send them. You don't get to take it back afterwards. Father, you should know that they made me happy. Happy? Knowing that you were thinking of us all along. We were worried about you, Mother and I. Neither of us ever came out and said it, but... We thought maybe you hated us, or trying to forget all about us. Never. I swear it on his late majesty and on my homeland. I see. All right, then swear. Swear that someday, when this war is over, you'll come back to us. I hear you, Annette. I will return without fail. No matter what. That's a promise you just made. If you break it, I'll never speak to you again. Yes, I promise. <laughs> Great. Now I'm positively elated. I can't wait until we're all a family again. I look forward to it, Annette. More than anything. <sighs> now the flowers are all taken care of. Huh? Felix? Why are you hiding there? I'm not hiding. No? Then what are you here for? You don't even have a real reason, do you? No, I don't. Then why...? Because of you. What? What's that supposed to mean? I want you to sing for me. I hear your voice when I'm asleep or in battle. It's like... It's like I'm your captive my captive what are you saying oh my i'm suddenly really flustered 
I can't help it. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Forget I said anything. Felix, are you blushing? I don't know. Shut up. I'm not blushing. Um. Uh. Well, if you feel like that about it, I suppose I could sing for you sometimes. If you like that sort of thing. Oh? I'd better go. Bye. Hey, wait! You just got here! Do you want to hear me sing or not? Uh, yes. I, I do. Well, what song do you want me to sing? Bears, Swamp Beasties, Foxes, or Dungeon? I like to hear all of them. If you don't mind. Starting with the library song in full. Sing for me. Please, Annette? Well, okay. Just this once. Your Highness, thank you for everything. This is sudden? Why so formal? You are not about to tell me you intend to leave the army, are you? Oh no, it's not that. I just had the chance to return to the capital on military business. It had really been a long time. Life's pretty hard there right now, but its old vitality seems to be returning bit by bit. If it wasn't for you, I'm sure things wouldn't be looking so promising. So... Come now, no need to exaggerate. Do not forget that I abandoned them and fled once as well. You had no choice. If you had remained in the capital, you would have been killed. If you keep thinking so dark and gloomy, you're gonna end up looking just like father. Annette, you probably do not realize, but over those five years, I took many, many lives. I slaughtered generals and officials alike with brutality you would scarcely think a human was capable of. And as I have intensified my fight with the Empire, how many people have fallen in the capital? My hands are already dripping with blood. I cannot be forgiven. You really are a lot more like father than I am. Before father left us, he used to say similar things. I don't want you to end up like him. So I've been thinking. When this war is over, I was wondering whether I could help you with your work. <laughs> of course, I don't know how much I'd be able to support a king. What are you saying? If I leave you to your own devices, you'll forget how to laugh. We can't have that. You won't be able to do what you have to do with such a miserable look on your face. So, if you'll have me, I'd like to stay by your side. If you're sad or suffering, I'll just starve you until you muster a smile. Starve me? <laughs> hey, you weren't supposed to laugh at that part. I thought a lot about this. <laughs> Sorry, I could not help myself. Certainly with you around, I will not have any cause to frown. By all means, join me, Annette. And never lose that sweet smile of yours. Yes, I promise. <laughs> Finally, you score a point against me on the ground. You have improved, Ingrid. That was nothing more than a fluke. My technique was horribly sloppy that last round. It does not matter what sort of technique it was. You won. If this had been a real battle, I would be dead. You wielded your lance well, without any hesitation. Has your approach changed? You may recall when I said I'm now able to move on. Because of you. I remember. What did you mean by it? That I finally understand a truth about Glenn. It sounds as though he died with a heavy heart. A heart that carried regret. I had suspected as much, but instead of acknowledging it, I twisted my memory of him to fit an ideal I've been upholding. I see. Your Highness, I will not sacrifice my life for anyone, but perhaps instead, I can live my life for someone. I will pledge my life to you. And how exactly am I meant to interpret that? However you please, Your Highness. <laughs> oh? Well then. Ingrid, when this is all over, I want you to... Um... To support and defend me. As my knight. I have been thinking of telling you this for a long time. 
We get along well, you and I. As your knight? Yes, yes, of course. Of course I will. I intended to do so for your... For the sake of the kingdom. Together, your highness. You and I. Our first order of business. Putting this tragic war to an end. Yes. And while we're at it... Do not die on me, Ingrid. Promise me that. Yes, your highness. I swear it on my lance. 